Golly, man, it's another gorgeous day, a little bit of sunshine. It's always a nice boost when you get the uh, the energy from the sun, especially when it's been a long winter, a long grand cold winter. Spring is finally here this week. Um, and uh, it's Tuesday, so that means this week's training, I've got back and rear delt. So to, to kind of preview what I'm going to take you through, so I'll talk a little bit in here since we're at a, a quieter gym today. Uh, but just to kind of preview the, the structure of the workout, I'm going to go in, warm up with pull-ups. And I do a variation to help me connect with my lats a little better. So it's uh, it's really a scapula retraction first and then into a pull-up, kind of a combination of exercises. It makes it harder, but again, it helps me activate my lats. Um, and then from there, I'll go into a roll, excuse me, a roll a row and then uh, I've really been enjoying the neutral grip pull down uh, it's just because I think I've been doing more of a traditional you know hands forward pull down I'm gonna keep doing those because it feels great and uh, it's getting my lats nice and pumped and then from there I'll go into another row uh, before hitting uh, rear delts so that's uh, that's the plan uh, and I forgot to mention, I'm going to start with a straight arm lat pull down before my first heavy row. Again, that's kind of the, the pre-exhaust strategy, connect with the muscle, fatigue it a little bit, so I don't have to go as heavy with the, the barbell row in order to, you know, exhaust the muscle to the same extent. Uh, so that's the plan. And then uh, later, I can't, I want to figure out a way to, I got to figure out a way to film it. Um, but after... My girlfriend's training at a, a different gym because they have a little bit more equipment. So I'm going to meet up with her, uh, hit the stairs for probably 20 minutes, and then we're going to run for about two miles outside. But I don't have a great way to film that, so that might be uh, left to just talking about it. Um, eventually, that'd be pretty cool. So yeah, that's the plan. Uh, my face is itching uh, as I took some pre-workout, and I'm, I'm feeling it. So we'll get in here and hit it. Um, honestly, I'm kind of testing out pre-workouts right now. I, uh, I still take a good range from, uh, from raw nutrition, but I, I don't work with them, uh, as of a few months ago, put it this way, whenever you're working for somebody, your own business no longer becomes as much of a priority as it would be had you just focused on your own business. I'll put it that way. Cause I, I, I uh. I'll put it that way. Um, so yeah. So uh, as far as supplements go, I don't know. I'll have. Uh, I mean, like I said, it's really the supplements are minor. Any good creatine is good. Good pre workout that you don't crash off of. Something that gets you focused. Maybe has some beta alanine in it because there's studies that show beta alanine has some some pretty significant effects. Um, so yeah, let's break that down. Beta beta alanine excuse me, creatine, uh, potentially a, a quality protein, whether it's whey or vegan, you know, if you're struggling getting in your protein every day, a protein shake can be a great way to, to easily get in, you know, 30, 40 plus grams of protein without many extra calories. Um, and then a pre-workout, uh, usually you're going to have caffeine in there. That's what's going to help with energy and it can help you focus. Um, I recommend something with beta alanine because uh, that's there's some studies show that that helps reduce fatigue when you're training, um, and I, I think that's definitely effective. And then um, you know there's there's other ingredients in some pre workouts that'll that'll help you focus too. Some have proprietary blends that'll say like it'll literally say in the ingredients like focus blend or you know some will actually label list out the ingredients um, where you have things like. Uh, taurine and L-carnitine and you know all those all those are good um, a, a bonus would be having something with some L-citrulline because uh, that's going to help that can help with your blood flow um, and then an additional bonus for the pump would be something with salt now if your pre-workout doesn't have salt in it um, that's fine you know you need that electrolyte so you can you know, it helps to actually fire fire your muscles when you're training. Um, but 
again, food is a, a little more important. So I'd rather have salt uh, with a meal before I train uh, with some carbs. Because if I have carbs, like the sweet potato I ate this morning and the, the banana, if I have carbs, some salt, and then of course water, making sure you're properly hydrated, those three things are gonna really help give you a crazy pump in my experience more than just having l citrulline in a pre-workout would so you know if you take everything yeah you know you're stacking things so you can have a better and better effect but uh that's kind of the breakdown of what i look for um i don't know that you know i you know i've appreciated you guys you know those of you who've been on the channel uh for a while now um supporting me through you know the codes I've, I've had before with companies in the supplement space you know when I first started I was with EHP for a number of years and then um, was excited for the opportunity to transition to raw and you know work with them for probably I think over two years as well I only have so much time in the day to to accomplish my goals and I got some pretty big personal goals and and um, you know right now that just doesn't it doesn't make sense for me to be you know, allocating time and space uh, toward that as much as I do or have believed in, uh, you know, working with the brands I've worked with in the past. So, um, again, I appreciate you guys who have supported over the years um, and, you know, help support myself in this channel, you know, by shopping the code. And, you know, I hope you've been able to, to get some good supplements in the past. But uh, at least for right now, I'm going to leave that space open. Uh, so I can lock in on things like my training app and things like cross projects and bringing this merchandise to life and and just honestly being better at and more consistent with these videos. It gives me the the time and space to do all that. So that's enough of that. Let's let's go kill a back day. First working set, the first proper working set at least. Uh, did one warm up. I felt pretty good, especially after doing the, the pullovers there with the cable. The last feel decently pumped, uh, so one should do. And start the work first working set. Gonna start the first working set at five plates, and uh, I can tell I'm pretty drained from yesterday's session. Did not sleep well at all. So, if you guys notice, I uploaded at like thing there 2 a.m. last night so I was just up late editing uh, so I don't I'm not gonna rule it out but I don't think the strength is gonna be there today to hit sixth place with the form I'd like to hit it with uh, so I'll probably be at five maybe five and a quarter we'll see we'll see once I get in there but uh, it's just kind of that go time so it's that point in the workout where if you haven't put your music in yet you put your music in and get to work for real. 